Hey guys, you can change your right hand up when you do, then you're all into. We will start on the floor. Go for it. Hi, folks. How are you? How are you? Um, my question, I'm Dorothy Century. All you need is one to get back to Atlanta. What are the keys to make sure that you get one in this series? Uh, we just have to focus on this game right here. Uh, I think for us, our pace is going to be really important. Our ability to get back in transition. Um, defend without fouling. Um, I think those are some of the keys for us in order to play well. Coach Tyler DeLuca with the committee. Obviously, the regular season series didn't go in y'all's favor. For you, the biggest changes from those games in the regular season to now being in a playoff atmosphere, what do those have to be for y'all to shift the tide? Of it? Yeah, first of, all, first of all, we have to throw the regular season out. Um, regular season is over. Um, it doesn't really matter anymore. It's playoff basketball. Um, it's a different type of atmosphere when you're talking about playoff basketball. Um, people play different in terms of the intensity levels, jump, um, all, all those different things. So we have to just worry about ourselves, focus on the things that we need to do well, which is what I said, our pace in in, in full court and half court, um, our ability to get back in transition to play some five and five defense. And um, obviously we got to take care of the ball and defend without fouling. Coach, for you, uh, as you go into a playoff matchup and, and now when you other, whether it's shifting rotations, like, making your rotation smaller. For you as a coach, what mindset, do you change your mindset at all based on how you're coaching the regular season? You know what, what works. <laughs> you try to figure out what, what works, um, throw a bunch of things up, see what sticks, and go with what works. For the players, uh, what discussions have you all had, like in the locker room, as far as just, you know, with that championship, um, you know, mentality going on? How have you, like, encouraged each other and, yeah, I think it's, you know, starting with not taking it for granted. Um, obviously, the organization hasn't been back since, you know, since 2018. And so making sure that we're taking advantage of every single opportunity that we have, for sure. Yeah, D-Rob, she, she, she said it best on um, this playoff basketball. Um, not much has to be said. Thank you. Any other questions in here? Good. All right, we're going to go to uh, Mark. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, all good to see you guys. Uh, D-Rob, I just wanted to ask you, I know I've been talking to a lot of the young players the last couple of days. They all mentioned that they talked to you about, you know, kind of leaning on you in terms of your playoff experience. What have some of those conversations been like and, and what's been maybe the biggest thing you've imparted to them? Yeah, like I, you know, just mentioned, I think taking advantage of every single opportunity um, and treating it like it's a one game series, you know, not looking forward to the next game or, you know, that there's three games, like we have to go one and oh um, every single night and making sure that we're playing as hard as we can. Obviously, there's a lot of, you know, time in between games. So literally leaving it all on the court, um, there should be we should be gassed tonight um, post game. And so, like I said, taking care, uh, you know, taking care of the taking advantage of the opportunity and leaving it all on the court. Awesome. Thank you. Go ahead, Megan. Yeah. Hey, Coach. Hey, D-Rob. Hey, AD. Uh, Coach, you know I got to ask my question. What socks are we rocking tonight? <laughs> I got on. Uh, I think it's Rugrats. Oh, okay. We're keeping it in the 90s. All right. I dig it. Uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I had to get that in because I'm not in person to to give you grief about that. But, uh, but good to see all of you. AD, this question is for you. Uh, it's good to see that you're here. And, and of course, I know you were dealing with a knee injury for a little bit. Um, but wanted to just uh, touch on, I guess, how have you challenged yourself, I guess, with the playoffs here now on the line to step up uh, coming off the bench and just add energy? Um, just be myself, um, most in, importantly, but also just do what coach needs me to do and what my teammates need me to do. Um, we all have roles, so I'm just trying to play my role. And we'll finish up with Emmanuel Glass. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Hey, coach, uh, real quick, to win tonight, the team has to do what? Yeah, <laughs> like this is the third time I've been fouling. Take care of the ball. You have to defend without fouling. Um, we have to get out in transition, have good pace, especially in the half court for us. Um, and we have to we have to be on the attack. I think you know Dallas has a lot of a lot of different weapons and a lot of different ways that they can play. Um, but we really have to focus on ourselves and focus on the things that we do well and go out and execute that at a high level. Yeah, I just want to make sure my notes are right. Make sure I got it. So. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.